So um, I've noticed lately uh, a few viewers or subscribers have uh, walked away. And I don't blame them because um, I don't give advice. And uh, I'm not, uh, you know, doing showing you how mobile I am at 83 doing dance uh, videos. Uh, I sort of just, as a blog, basically, a video log, like a blog, only for video, a few years ago when I was living alone in Pennsylvania. And I thought, oh, I was having a very dry period as a writer. And that's, that's when I started making these videos. And they're really, you know, um, a lot about what it is to be older, to be single, to be alone, and to try and maintain your dignity. <laughs> dignity. <laughs> Try to maintain all your senses. A few weeks ago, I thought I'm really losing it. I could, I just, I really went through a stage of confusion. Now I had just, uh, it was a week after, a few days after the car I was in had been rear-ended. And that was really quite an assault on the senses and, and frightening. Uh, the woman, um, a friend of mine was driving, it was my car. You can, the videos about it are elsewhere, by the way. That was six weeks ago tomorrow. The car is still in my driveway. It still has not been taken for repair because parts. Shipping parts in Mexico is apparently, uh, I don't know, it's probably apparently easier to get your fentanyl, you know, or heroin here than it would be to, to get parts to repair your auto. Um, but uh, my friend was driving and uh, I can see, I don't think she's gotten over it, her guilt. I mean, she's actually moving. I sort of think that has something to do with, she lives of course away from me and I thought, oh, well, I'm not gonna go there. Um, but today is actually a victory day because I finally gotten after six weeks, uh, the uh, companies through complaining uh, vociferously uh, to release a substitute auto to me, substituto auto to me, which is in my uh, insurance that I paid for, but the, it, it's so complicated. Your car has to be at the re collision repair shop for two days before they'll release it to you. Good for them, terrible for me, because of course I didn't know that, uh, well, it's six weeks and they ordered the parts the day of the accident and they have not arrived yet. Now, written into their contract, because this is not their first rodeo, is that after 15 days, the uh, collision guy repair shop, he can order from a different uh, source anywhere in the world. Honda, we're looking for, for Honda. <laughs> the Honda factory apparently is very famous for this, but I think the other factories aren't uh, really good too. This is, I'm in Mexico, we have to repeat that. I'm in Mexico. So I've been very dependent for almost, well, six weeks on my neighbors, on my, my housekeeper, who's also my assistant, to drive me to, for basics. I don't get the luxury of saying, huh, I feel like let me take a drive and uh, see what's going on, you know, up uh, or take myself to a restaurant. Um, and that's really made me feel a little incapacitated. In fact, I have been incapacitated, although not physically or emotionally or mentally yet. <laughs> So today I feel I get my dignity back, although I don't know, you could call a Chevy Avio a dignified car. <laughs> I'm used to driving a really big CRV, and this I know is gonna be a small car, but I'm very grateful to be able to be mobile, a vehicle, a vehicle, I don't think there is a word for that, to have a vehicle to be mobile again. I'm mobile in my body, but now I need to get into a car. Um, anyway, uh, this is mostly about what it is like to be older, and I don't blame you for leaving, especially if you're not old yet, but may you get old. It's a wonderful thing, and you won't regret it. <laughs>